Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load CSV file from Azure Blob Storage to the BigQuery on Scheduler. We'll be using Data Transfer Service of GCP to handle that. Uh, this can be scheduled or you can uh, run on demand as well. So first of all, we are going to go to our uh, cloud sorry console.cloud.google.com here is my project uh, and uh, as of now i don't have anything really i'm going to search for bigquery and we are going to take all the steps from there so we will search for bigquery right here once we find the bigquery then uh, we are going to create a data set uh, so i'm creating uh, pretty much all the steps uh, for you in case you're totally new to the bigquery and uh, azure so now once uh, you have a project right there and uh, what you can do you are going to uh, click right there and uh, select uh, create data set uh, you will be providing the name of the data set and also you will be selecting the location now we are going to go with US multi region in United States and I'm going to call this one uh, tech brothers DS so that will do it I am not playing with any other options but you have a lot of other things uh, to take a look from there and uh, you can learn about those uh, by reading documents or watching other YouTube videos uh, now we have a tech brothers uh, data set uh, but we do not have any table uh, what we are going to do first uh, we are going to go study our azure file uh, we have the file here in azure blob storage that's what we would like to study and then create the table accordingly so if i will go to the home this is my portal.azure.com i'm at uh, home and here is a, a list of my resources uh, so you will see tech brothers uh, storage that's one of the storage account i have so i'm going to click right there then uh, it's going to take me to the list uh, of uh, uh, items here let me see what it shows it shows me all those details but i'm interested in containers uh, so i'm going to click on containers and uh, one of the container i have created is called the output uh, so if i go to the output uh, then you are going to see the csv files there uh, i'm going to use uh, this uh, gcs uh, customer.csv file take a look uh, in this uh, records first go to edit uh, and we will see it has a ID first name last name and I have uh, seven records there so great we are going to create a, a customer table with ID first name last name in uh, our BigQuery so let's go to BigQuery here and now we can simply go ahead and look right next to, to the data set uh, and here we'll say create table now provide the name of the table so it's going to be customer table um, then we are going to add the schema so it is going to be id and uh, then id was the integer so press uh, i it will uh, show you integer here second uh, uh, was uh, um, first name so we have first name that's a string and then we have a last name so l name okay great so our table is ready i'm not doing any partitioning and clustering and all those on this table i'm just uh, creating a simple raw table so you can just uh, get the data from blob storage uh, uh, and uh, insert into the bigquery but uh, if you really needed all those uh, details go ahead and uh, create the partition and everything that's going to be fine so we will create the table and here is our customer table i can click on customer table it's going to show me my definition of our columns right here and I can go to details uh, to read more when it was created and everything uh, else or in how many rows uh, are there right now there is nothing there we can click on preview it is going to show you data if uh, there would be data so now next part is we go we will go right here uh, in the data transfers uh, so in the BigQuery you see the second time right here after the BigQuery studio is called the data transfers uh, so if uh, uh, you are here first time and create data transfer maybe it will ask you to enable the api i already have done it so it is not going to ask me but if it asks you say yes or enable so now we will be creating the data transfer job here now it asked me uh, source type so uh, there are many different sources uh, from where you can read the data so in my case i want to read the data from the azure blob storage and uh, i'm going to click right there and uh, now it's asking me the name of the job uh, that i would like to create here so let's call it uh, uh, azure uh, azure customer because we want to load the customer now you can uh, schedule right here you have hours days weeks and months and custom and all those and on demand as well so i'm going to go with the on demand uh, because we want to just run uh, right now so we are not going to schedule but you have all those options to schedule your transfer job 
Next, uh, you will be providing the information of your destination. It is asking you data set. So we have tech browser DS that we just created. We are going to select that. Then it is asking you destination table. So I see that it's not showing you. Um, uh, actually, it does show you. Uh, maybe it's coming from the uh, cache, but uh, anyways, it's a customer table. So type it off, or just you know, if it is showing you, just get it. But not seeing the list here coming, anyways. So here you will be providing a your storage account name. So you're gonna go back here, and this is your account name. So you're gonna copy this, and uh, you go back and paste it here. That's your blob storage account name. Next, it is asking you the container name. So let's go ahead and provide the container name. This is uh, coming from the cache, but uh, you will go to the containers here if your container name is different. So just copy the container name and then come back and uh, just uh, paste it right there. Once you have the container, then it's asking data path. If you check here, it's saying specify files to uh, to be loaded in the container. So which files you want to load? In my case, I'm uh, I just want to load this file. So if I uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and copy just the one file name that I want to. Uh, so it's here, and uh, I will go back uh, here. And uh, anything happened to this file, that's what I will want to uh, load. Then I'm gonna. It's asking us the uh, SS token. So you're gonna go back to Azure. Here you're gonna go to the share access tokens, and that's your SAS token here. Now uh, it is asking you which permission you would like to provide. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read and list. Uh, so these two permissions I will give in case you know there are more files and all that, so it will not have problem. Then I'm gonna go ahead and generate SAS token. I'm gonna copy this uh, blob SAS URL and then go back to the this uh, transfer job. And here I'm gonna paste SAS token. All good here. CSV format, yes. There is a JSON, Abro, uh, Parquet, and ORC. In my case, is CSV. So uh, it's uh, um, write append or write truncate. What do you want to do? If you want to truncate the table every time and then uh, just load the data, that select that one. Otherwise, the write append is just fine for me. I don't want to, um, you know, delete the data every time from the table. I just want to append the data. So a number of uh, error allowed. So if you want to say like, hey, if there are 10 records that they are not even getting load from when the job runs, you ignore it and uh, load the rest of that, you can go with that. Decimal target type, so, so you have more options here. Um, I haven't really played with the, this one, so this is to deal with numeric and decimal and all that, so you can read on, on the description here. Now, uh, JSON, ignore unknown values, so take a look on that part as well. But I'm just ignoring everything now, and I'm going with the CSV. So uh, field uh, delimiter is comma, uh, header row to skip. In my case, uh, only one, because that's uh, my file has the header. If your fi file doesn't have the header, you don't want to skip anything, it's going to be just fine. So allow co uh, coded uh, new lines, uh, allow jagged rows, all that. So different, uh, depending on your CSV setting, how the data is, uh, you can enable these settings if you like. Now we are all good here. Uh, there are advanced options, you know, encryption and everything right there. So you can play with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and save and our data transfer job is ready. Okay, so now we can go ahead and say run transfer now. And uh, as you can see, this is our job. So it's not uh, doing anything as of now. And we haven't scheduled it. So it's a run history. We can see there once we run it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run transfer now. It's asking me run one time transfer, run for specific date. So I can do that, I can schedule for another time, but I'm gonna go ahead and run for now. Um, I wish there would be a refresh button here. I'm not finding it, maybe I'm just not able to take a look. But uh, what you do, I'm gonna just click on configuration and then come back to the uh, run history and uh, now it's, it popped up, you know. Now it says that a transfer in progress, you can click here and it's gonna show you some details here. Transfer, load date, starting transfer for files, and then transfer in progress. You can take a look uh, more detail here. You know, it has uh, other uh, JSON payload and everything. So it tells you like where the files are come in and uh, if you have any use any prefix. In this case, we just use the entire file name, but you could have say like my file, all the files starting with GCS customer, and then say asterisk, then it will load all those files accordingly. 
now that's great and uh, let's go back to the uh, BigQuery and uh, let's refresh refresh contents okay let's see customer table I'm gonna preview the data so just click on uh, customer table go to preview and now there is still no, no data so the, it's taken some time to run so we can just uh, close it for now let it complete and then we come back okay now the job is completed with success you can see right there and finally it's all good um, and it took uh, around 3 minutes 44 seconds uh, and uh, now we can go to the BigQuery and uh, we can go to the uh, let's say we have table here we can query and uh, right there so we are going to go ahead and query and uh, we can put asterisk there and if we run this query it is going to show us uh, the data that was in CSV file and loaded into the this customer table so you can see there it has loaded all the data so that we see in the output folder here uh, in our output container here in the Azure in that file so this is how the your data transfer uh, jobs will work yeah and uh, this is pretty cool like if you don't want to use the ETL tool uh, such as data proc or data flow and uh, you simply have these type of uh, requirement where you need to delete the data from uh, different file formats from the Azure blob storage you can use the data transfer service uh, uh, in the BigQuery and load the data on schedule to the BigQuery table. So I thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.